Hey everyone, so today I'm going to tell you about my week six college football trip. So I started off flying from Nashville to Raleigh-Durham International Airport late Wednesday night. I was coming back home to celebrate my dad's 60th birthday party, having a pig picking. My parents picked me up. We went back to Chapel Hill. So Thursday morning, my dad and I left around 1230 for the ECU Temple game. We arrived to Greenville about 230 with stops included. So then we looked around for parking for about 30 minutes. We looked around. Finally, we found some street parking. It was free. Somebody had told us that it was free to park there. So we walked about half a mile to some of the tailgates around the area. And I've heard that this SPC lot at ECU is one of the wildest tailgates in the country. So my dad and I, we ended up checking it out. So we went over there and let me tell you, it was crazy. Everyone over there was really nice though, but it was extremely wild. So it was just basically one big party and actually met a group and this one guy in the group, he was telling me how he was going to jump off this car and through a table for my YouTube channel. And I told him, I was like, dude, don't do that, man. You don't want to hurt yourself. But uh, he insisted upon it. Um, so anyway, I was somewhere else around the lot at the time and then I heard a loud roar coming from the other side of the parking lot the tailgate area and he had actually jumped off the car it was uh crazy he said he told me I, I saw him later on he told me he actually broke the table so yeah and he, he told me he was trying to find his girlfriend at the time so um I don't know exactly what happened but I hope everything worked out for him so Anyway, uh, that gives you a little bit of insight about the type of tailgate scene that was going on over there at ECU. But I met a bunch of really cool tailgates who were really supportive of my channel, and I was just totally shocked about how cool everyone at ECU was. So my dad and I left tailgate. We ended up going to the game. So we had bought tickets beforehand for fairly cheap, about $20 a ticket. That included the fees found a seat behind the temple bench on the 25 yard line about 15 rows up you know it was a decent little crowd there but it, there was also some available seats so uh, uh yeah it was a good good time so ecu ran out to purple haze by Jimi hendrix and i have to say that was a, a cool entrance especially for you know a group five entrance definitely up there for sure so ECU, you know, they scored first, kept the game close, but Temple started to run away with the, the game towards the end. And there was about three and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. And suddenly the lights went out. One side of the stadium's lights were completely dark. So it was definitely crazy to see that. Uh, game got delayed for about 30 minutes. So uh, anyway, after the game, we drove back about an hour 45 minutes um and then so that friday morning we celebrated my dad's 60th birthday we had the pig picking uh, a bunch of you know family and friends came over so it was a massive pig cooker out there um definitely it was just a fun fun time and the food was very good uh randy did a great job cooking he was crushing it so the next day was Saturday. I went to my friend's wedding and the wedding started around 4.30. So, you know, I went to the, I went to the wedding and I left after eating dinner. So, um, it was a good wedding though, and definitely a time crunch. So I ended up driving back, um, and my parents ended up dropping me and my dad off for the Duke Pittsburgh game, which started a little after eight. So yeah, it was a uh, perfect timing, but definitely st very stressful. So temperature was about 55 degrees, little wind, and Duke was actually down 26 to three, but they ended up scoring 27 unanswered points to make it 30 to 26, but Pitt ended up scoring a late fourth quarter touchdown somewhere around 38 seconds to go. Uh, and they eventually won the game. So my mom picked my dad and I up from the game. Then I spent Saturday at home just resting, 
and I got to spend some good quality time with my parents. And Monday morning flew back early uh, to Nashville. Thank you for tuning in to week six of my college football journey.